What's up, Sushi Squad? Today is going to end up being an interesting day. So we've got Diablo Immortal. You guys have phones? Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys that, all have phones. Phone, right? You can play on your tablet too. Remember that? So Diablo Immortal is actually releasing on both PC and mobile devices. Both uh, Android and iOS. Uh, we don't have any plans at the moment to do uh, PC. Funny, they should have mentioned it was releasing in PC a couple years back at BlizzCon. I think they would have uh, not had as many people complaining, but uh, it ended up releasing a day early on mobile devices. So that's where we're playing it today. I hope that, uh, you know, the footage is all good and everything for you guys, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's a little bit difficult for me to end up recording my phone nowadays. So anyways, um, this game is going to end up releasing on PC tomorrow, though, so that's where I'm going to end up primarily playing it, uh, especially because just on mobile, I'm already running into quite a few weird issues and stuff. Uh, save, like, not to mention this, so if you look at this, <laughs> I've never seen this on a mobile game before, where all of this is dungeons and HD textures and audio and stuff. All of that needs to get downloaded over time, right? And then check this out. You actually get a reward for downloading all of this crap. It takes so much space on the phone too. Uh, so we're going to be playing as the wizard because I don't really know how to get out of the main menu or anything like that. Uh, of course, on when this comes out on PC tomorrow, uh, I'll probably end up streaming it. And more than likely, I'm going to be your boy Necromancer because that's always going to end up being my main. But I thought it would be interesting to end up trying out the wizard together. So hopefully you don't end up hearing any bleed through from my phone to my mic because I'm basically just sitting here on my mobile device recording this uh, with a screen capture. And then I'm going to have to export this to my pc uh where i'm going to edit it and hopefully it ends up looking okay for you guys so i never ended up playing this or anything let's see how it ends up going so we literally just press the button to attack i'm gonna bring my volume down a little bit just i'll try to remember to bring it up in editing because i can end up doing that uh another thing too that i would recommend if you guys are on mobile devices is go into your settings and if you scroll down all the way you'll see auto item pickup so you can set it up so that it automatically picks up uh, every type of rarity. And then on top of that, there is an uh, in-game screen recording, which is pretty cool. But uh, it uh, only ends up recording like 30 seconds or something. Also, I'm sorry, I realized that I didn't have this at, um, uh, at 60 frames, which hopefully is not going to end up killing my phone. Oh my god, that's so much smoother. At the very least, I wanted to make it look smoother for you guys, even though for myself personally... I would probably just end up playing this at 30 frames. I think it's pretty cool, honestly. Like, I'm not really against uh, Diablo being on mobile devices. Can I just hold the button? Yes, I can, even though it says keep tapping it like a Neanderthal. Uh, I'm, I've never been against Diablo being on mobile devices. I actually think it's kind of cool, um, but I'm glad that it's coming on PC, right? Like that's going to end up being uh, definitely better. Okay, so I click and then I drag to choose the direction of the spell. That's actually pretty intuitive, surprisingly. Now you can play this game with uh, like even on mobile devices, if you have a Bluetooth uh, controller, you can end up doing that. Sorry, I thought these were enemies. I guess some of them are, but some of them aren't. And uh, I, I did have my controller set up for this, but I don't really have any method uh, to... I don't have any way that I can have my display sitting up while I'm playing, so that's why I opted out of just using the controller. I mean, generally speaking, I feel like the early game is going to be no problem. We're just going to kind of sit here and tank these enemies and stuff. I'm noticing that the controls are a little bit tight. Like, maybe that would be... Maybe it would feel a bit better if I was using a controller, but the point is that uh, Diablo and my experience of it, you know, I've played every single Diablo game, absolutely love them, huge fan of them. Um, not only am I noticing a few reused assets uh, reskinned from Diablo 3, like this was actually one of the bosses in Act 3, if I'm not mistaken, uh, but kiting is a big, big deal. Uh, for the end game of Diablo, especially when you're playing as a squishy character like the mage. I do really appreciate the auto-targeting. I think that that's really cool. Uh, but the kiting is taking a little bit 
for me to get used to and generally is a little bit sticky it might be that it's going to end up being more ironed out on other devices it could just be an issue on my end but i don't know i mean i'm noticing some frame dips here and there as well but uh, whatever that's that's just clearly my own mobile device um so we do have some gear our first set so we can equip it destroy it um i did actually so i didn't do videos on it but i did end up getting into the beta uh with uh diablo immortal and uh it's you know it's a pretty cool game it has actually gotten a lot better since the beta version even though I'm kind of slightly criticizing the controls, generally speaking, it's a lot smoother. Not that it was like super duper bad or anything, but definitely a lot better than the original. That said, I played it a long time ago. I was I was one of the OG beta members and I didn't end up playing it that much because I remember at the time I wasn't like super interested in it. Um, but anyways, it is definitely a lot better. And again, just the fact that it's going to end up being on mobile device or on uh, PC, that's where I'm going to end up playing it primarily. And I'm curious to see whether or not this game is going to function better with a mouse and keyboard or if it might end up actually being better on controller because it's it, it seems like it's going to end up being kind of a mixture of. And if we've got auto attacking, uh, or should I say auto-targeting being uh, a little bit more prevalent in this version of the game, it might make it one of the most easily accessible Diablo games to date, which obviously, you know, there's going to end up being a lot of people that will criticize this and ask, why would I play this over a more hardcore game like Path of Exile? But that's exactly why I was always kind of interested in the idea of uh, a Diablo on mobile game. And I know that I'm probably like the only one that feels this way, but, um, like I said, it's because of the fact that it's going to end up having accessibility. I think that that's actually really, really cool. Now, the other thing, too, is that because I did end up playing the beta, uh, they, I, I did kind of get a, pretty far into the game. Um, I know I said I didn't play it that much, but it was, what I mean is I kind of played it, like, off and on here and there, right? Um, sorry, I'm a little distracted. It's not my traditional thing that I end up recording as a mobile game. Um, but that said, the, the point is that the end game in this gets extremely pay to win. So you guys do have to keep that in mind just because it is a thing. So we ended up getting our ultimate ability, which is really, really cool. I like it. We get super duper overcharged. I am noticing that my phone is getting very, very hot. So I might either have to take a bit of a break before we continue on more, or frankly speaking, I may have to... Uh, okay, so it shows a little green icon when it's better gear for us. That I really, really like that it's just super duper quick and intuitive. Um, like I said, you know, the fact that it's like very easy to get involved with it. But anyways, we'll, we're not going to end up doing like a super long video today or something, probably around like maybe the 20 minute mark. Uh, and then I'll end up cutting it down and hopefully it ends up being something that is, uh, you know, an actual like high enough quality video. But I'm so sorry to do this, guys. I'm actually going to <laughs> I'm actually going to swap it back to 30 frames. I think that 60 frames in combination with the fact that I'm recording this on my mobile device is probably really overstrenuating it. And I mean my my mobile device isn't like super duper strong or anything like that. Um so it, it whatever beggars can't be choosers right if you want the game in all of its glory uh you know obviously when i'm playing it on pc tomorrow that's when it's going to end up looking a lot better but i've heard from a lot of people like despite the fact that i think so many people are going to end up criticizing this game i have heard from a lot of people that this game is pretty good like lots of people have been playing it all day long that i think are more at home with playing mobile games like this because usually for me the only mobile games i usually play um, are like, I don't know, like idle games and stuff, you know? I'm not really into playing like these super hardcore games, let alone like an RPG game. Um, unless it's something that I can end up playing on PC, like that's most of all where I end up playing these. So we actually see that we've got experience orbs, uh, health globes and stuff, lots of, lots of reused assets from Diablo 3, which kind of makes sense. Uh, it does seem like it's a bit of a, um, what do you call it? Like, um uh like they wanted to save money on the project obviously but i'm not saying that it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean that they aren't end up uh you know you. putting a lot of effort into this project because they're gonna make a lot of money off of it we know that much that's for sure okay 
Anyways, let's uh, salvage this. They're just trying to give us a little bit of the tutorial here, which... Uh, so we can break all of these down, which I kind of like. Uh, I wonder if we can set up later on. Like, I wonder if we can set it so that it automatically will break items down. Um, oh, also, I, I want to mention, I know I'm skipping all the story stuff. So I probably... Oh, I see. That's just a shield. So I'll probably end up... Uh, like not skipping the story stuff when we're actually playing this on PC because like I said, like right now, like I don't have headphones or anything. I can't actually hear anything. <laughs> so you guys hear all the sounds and hopefully it makes it a little bit less awkward because for me, it's just kind of dead silent and just my voice. But anyways, I, I do think that this is really cool. Uh, did the game freeze? No, he's just talking a lot. Uh, I do think it's really cool. I don't know if I'm going to continue all of these downloads. I'll probably cancel most of those just so that I can uh, just play the game and not worry about it. Um, I did also hear somebody mentioning, one of my buddies was saying like, where's the auto walk feature? So I wonder whether or not that's something that they'll eventually end up putting in. Cause the game seems to quite literally hold our hand and tell us the direction to go. And it being a mobile game means that, you know, while you're obviously going to end up being a little bit more involved because it is an action game, uh, I think that little things like that would add up to making the game even more accessible. I'm not saying that I want to necessarily use auto walk all the time or anything like that. I guess it really depends on the map and how that's all set up, whether or not it's going to end up being uh, overly complicated or have like waypoints and stuff like that. Like we'll kind of just have to wait and see. But once again, more, more <laughs> Diablo 3 enemies being reused. I guess I shouldn't criticize it too hard. Most of all, like the thing that I'm just so surprised about is how long this game took to come out. You know, like that, that's kind of the real, uh, the real thing that's like so surprising to me just because of the fact that, you know, this, this game was talked about like years ago, dude, at BlizzCon and, uh, only now we're finally getting it, which I guess is still a pretty big deal, huh? I mean, especially for a Diablo fan like me, like I'm actually really enjoying this. Like it's actually really fun. And even though I'm not super into these mobile uh, playing games like this on mobile, it's like you can't really go wrong with this one, you know, because I, I always feel uh, I should I should explain a little bit better, bit better. I always feel whenever I'm playing like RPGs like this on mobile, why am I dedicating the time? Why am I, uh, you know, using the effort to end up doing it kind of thing? But um, <laughs> with this, it feels like you know, it doesn't feel as much of a waste. Like, it feels like, okay, well, if there's any game... Uh, first Elite Mob. If there's any game that I'm going to end up investing in, uh, you know, on my mobile device, it would be something like this. Like, it's like, oh, okay, can't really go wrong with this, right? Uh, I think that was our first blue piece of gear as well. Anyways, I'm uh, sorry if it takes me a little bit of a while to end up explaining things. Uh, obviously, it's... This is taking a lot of my cognitive function to end up playing this game right now, just because, again, I'm kind of out of my depth here because I don't traditionally record playing mobile games. And I'm also like, it's really, really tiny screen. I'm used to having a big 4K monitor in front of my face. Uh, but anyways, so we got Ray of Frost. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, man, I'm so excited to play the Necromancer, though. I, I thought that for today, just because this is going to be a one off video, it would be a little bit more interesting. Okay, so that's how they do the Frost Ray. That's what I thought. It has a little bit of auto-aim to it, but... Oh my god, I, I'm really not getting used to the way that this works, but... Speaking of playing this game on controller, though, like, it totally makes sense that this game would function very, very well with controller, just because um, Diablo 3 actually has insane controller support when they ended up putting it on console and stuff. So I'm trying to be careful here, and I want to make sure that I tag all of these guys while I'm still using all my ice abilities and junk. These enemies are a little bit stronger here, so I kind of got to focus a bit. I don't know why my guy was targeting that rock in the background, but hey, whatever. I think it's also just the fact that I kind of ran in uh, without, um, without getting everything ready. So it seems like our potions are on a cool down, which is a bit odd. Uh, I'm so I'm still so used to um, the old school like Diablo 1 and Diablo 2 where you would just potion spam and I think also just because the most recent Diablo game that I played was the Diablo 2 remaster the Diablo 2 resurrection 
And so I'm kind of approaching it like that. Okay, so this will be this will be the grand finale because I think this is our big boy boss at the end here. My phone is getting very very hot. So I'm <laughs> So I'm really hoping that we're almost done. Uh, <laughs> sorry if you hear the noise about my dog. She's just, I don't know why they're going crazy. I knew it was going to happen too, dude. I knew the moment I started recording that the dogs, shut up! The dogs would start screaming or something would get really, really noisy and loud while I was in the middle of like, a detrimental moment where I'm like fighting a big Chongo boss and like actually like have to You know, they they would ruin this scene of course is my point, right? So many reused assets, dude It's a little lame, but I mean whatever. I guess I shouldn't be complaining too much about it frankly speaking I, I don't mean to sound like I'm nitpicking or anything like that, but looks like we're going to end up absolutely destroying this guy It's a little difficult for me to end up uh, dodging these little guys just because I'm having a hard time seeing them uh, Not to say that that's a fault of the game. It's just because my screen is so small. There we go Boss down. All right. Give me the goodums Give me the items. Oh good lord. Okay bigger version uh, <laughs> Wasn't really expecting that the ice ray. Oh my god the amount of damage that that thing does dude So I think that that oh boy. Can I kite it? Yes. Okay good. The Ice Ray is, like, so good on this guy. It actually does heaps and heaps of damage, dude. This version of him is, like, weaker than the other one, which is hilarious. Okay, he's gonna do, yeah, the Fire Breath the other way. Cool, just stand there and take it, man. I know that I'm just standing there and taking it and just tanking him, but it's like, whatever, man. I don't, I don't really care. I just want to be careful with the, uh, which abilities I use, right? Actually, do I have- yeah, I have my ultimate ability. I didn't even notice. Oh my god. Okay. Well, time to get destroyed, dumb dumb. I think that it's cool that we have, like, the ultimate, dude. Like, I- there's so many little things about this that I actually, like, genuinely really, really enjoy. Why is this guy- it feels like he's getting stronger. Or is that- oh, I see. His health bar is just, like, lying to me. Because he's actually really, really weak, even though it still shows, like, a huge heap of red on his bar. Die. Level 10. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme all that stuff. Beautiful. My phone is getting so hot right now. I feel, like, worried. <laughs> okay, well, anyways, we grabbed the Royal Stone. Sweet. Cool. Alright. Um, anyways, gamers, I guess that's probably gonna end up doing it for today's video. Again, this is just going to end up being a one-off thing. Tomorrow, of course, we'll end up probably streaming... Uh, the actual game. Uh, now, just so you guys know, you can play this game on mobile devices right now, and it is coming out on PC uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So whatever time zone you're in, just change it appropriately. Uh, apparently, you can preload the game right now on PC with the Battle.net launcher, and I cannot wait to start playing it, honestly speaking. Even if you end up, like, if you ignore all the pay-to-win stuff that happens with the end game, this game is still, like, a lot of fun, even though it's just kind of Diablo 3, but again, at the same time, it's kind of like, is that really a bad thing? I don't know. Anyways, I, I'm really stoked about this, so hopefully you guys end up enjoying today's video, and uh, if you did, I would appreciate if you smash like stuff for more by the merch you want to support the channel, and if you want to end up seeing more, well, check back again tomorrow. Bye, guys!